Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I am doing a review of the Reverie Harp. Um, now I have seen this harp in a lot of different places. I believe that it was first made by music makers, um, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it has, music makers has plans um, that they sell and I think a lot of other independent um, instrument makers around the country have sort of picked this up because it's such a cool instrument. <laughs> um, I happened to get mine um, out of a Facebook group and I was so lucky because I've been wanting one of these for ages <laughs> um, and I found a really good price and snapped it up. So this is a used instrument. But it was originally made by Gabriel Harps um, and he calls it um, in the little sticker inside the Tranquility Harp instead of the Reverie Harp. So, um, But I have checked it out online and they are definitely the same instrument. <laughs> it is tuned the same way and uh, it obviously has the same overall look and feel. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what this instrument is. It was designed to be the ultimate therapy instrument basically um, and I think it works really well for that. Um, one reason it does is because it's designed to be tuned to a pentatonic scale. Um, so every note you play sounds beautiful with every other note. I'm just listening to this. It's a gorgeous instrument just to play, even if you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> um, one of the other reasons that it works so well as a therapy instrument um, is that it has such a beautiful sustain. Um, I could play this. And you can hear it's still reverberating. I don't know if my mic will pick that up, but you can hear that it just is still sounding so beautiful <laughs> for so long after you play it. It's gorgeous. Um, and one of the ways that music makers or the designer of this instrument got such a gorgeous sustain is by um, making basically two different instruments in one. <laughs> um, on each side you have a row of strings and this side um, goes from right to left starting at a low C. And this side goes from left to right, starting on the low C and basically echoing the strings. So you have um, all these sympathetic strings that are resonating. It's a lot like a double strung harp in the way that it resonates. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, that's also super nice for playing uh, melodically, which I will show you in a little bit. Um, this is a great harp to improvise on, obviously, because it's tuned pentatonically. Everything will sound nice no matter what you do. <laughs> um, I saw on the Music Makers website that they recommend sometimes you can kind of sit the harp between you um, and a therapy patient, and one of you can play this side, and the other can play the other side, and you'll make beautiful melodies together no matter what you're playing um, because of the tuning, which is just gorgeous. Now, personally, I'm not a music therapist. I don't have that training, um, but I do work with preschoolers and little kids. Um, and <laughs> I, of course, I work um, with some children who have outstanding emotional issues, but I mean, let's be real, all preschoolers have emotional issues. <laughs> so um, I think it's an excellent tool to use. Um, you can just sort of sit with them and they can strum it and you can play a little bit or even they will play a little bit while you strum along with them um, and just the being able to make those calm soothing noises um, without having to worry about whether they're playing something right or wrong um, it doesn't matter what they're doing or the order in which they're doing it they're just allowed to be themselves and still produce this absolutely beautiful music um, and I think Honestly, that works well as a therapy, even for adults. <laughs> um, I just, I was um, playing with this when I first got it in the mail a few days ago, and I'm just sitting there, um, just kind of playing little melodies with my fingers and 
Before I knew it, like 40 minutes had gone by and I was bouncing my little baby daughter in her little bouncy chair and she had fallen completely asleep <laughs> and I was just still sitting there playing around with it. It's so hypnotic and entrancing um, and almost meditative the way that you can just lose yourself in the beautiful sounds. I love it so much. I can't even tell you how much I love this heart. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of that play style that I'm talking about and you can kind of see how amazing this instrument is. Um, so there you have it. That is the Reverie Harp and how it works and its unique tuning. Um, and yeah, I absolutely recommend this for anyone who is interested in music. Um, if you know somebody who maybe feels like they can't learn anything about music, like they feel like maybe they're too old and they don't really want to put forth a lot of effort, that's fine. This harp is 100% the instrument for them. Um, you can't do it wrong. <laughs> once you learn how to tune it, um, and tuning is very simple, once you have a tuner and learn how to twist the knobs, um, you don't have to have any musical knowledge at all. You can find um, tunes, like recognizable familiar tunes on here, Amazing Grace you can play on a pentatonic scale, How Can I Keep From Singing, all of those songs you'll be able to find on here. But not only that, you can just sit and play with it. It doesn't have to be a recognizable song. It will just be soothing and beautiful. And even somebody who knows zero about music can make beautiful music with this harp. Uh, so that's my review of the Reverie Harp. Um, as you can tell, I adore this so much. Um, but I do know that the price is a little steep. So um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be coming out with a video on how to convert a normal lyre that you find on Amazon or wherever into um, a therapy instrument that you can use like this. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.